Today we're going to talk about Michael Van Gerwen. Oh wait, no, no, not MVG. Old habits die hard. This time it's GVV, Gian Van Veen. One of the brightest young talents on the PDC circuit, he's been rising fast over the last couple of years and really exploded onto the scene this season. In this video, we will analyze position, stance, grip, front camera, throwing action and speed. Let's discover the secrets of Van Veen throw. Gian positioned himself exactly at the center of the throwing line. He uses a forward stance, a middle way between close and open stance with the supporting foot at 45 degrees. Forward stance used by many other players, such as Josh Rock or Michael Smith. If we draw a line from the eye to the heel, we can see that everything is perfectly aligned. Let's look at Van Veen's stance. Overall, it's very good, with his elbow high and solid, perfectly aligned with his shoulders, and his arm extending perfectly during the release. The only criticism that can be made is that when he releases the darts, he leans forward slightly, lifting his supporting foot. It's nothing dramatic, other players do it too, such as Rob Cross. Let's talk about Gian's grip. First of all, he himself explained how he gets into the grip position which is by pushing the tip of the dart upwards with his fingers so that he gets into the position he considers optimal for his throw. If we look closely, we can see that Van Veen uses a four-finger grip. His thumb and index fingers support the barrel at the front, while his middle and ring fingers are positioned on the tip. The tip is very long, about 50 millimeters, which is why Gian can fit two fingers on it. One unusual thing is that the main grip is usually with the thumb and index finger. But in this case, the index finger seems to be more of a support, while the middle finger provides a stronger foothold. I think this is done because with the index finger raised like this, it allows him to have a clearer line of sight when setting the dart. One thing that characterizes Van Veen's throw is how the darts enter the board. If we look closely, we can see that the darts enter flat with the tail pointing downwards. This is directly related to the grip. In fact, Throwing the dart with the tip pointing upwards causes the darts to arrive flat. This type of grouping is called overstacking. This means trying to place the darts on top of each other. I made a video on understacking and overstacking. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to take a look. Gian admitted that over time he modified his throw to achieve this type of grouping, which is obviously used by many others, including Phil Taylor. Then my darts flattened the board, not upright. So then I just changed it, so I put two things on the point. But now I really push it forward as well, just to get the perfect angle for myself in the dart board. The alignment is almost perfect. If we consider the ideal elbow angle to be 90 degrees, Van Veen's is 85 degrees, so practically perfect. The movement is simple. The dart is in line with the right eye, straight pull back, and release. We can see the open grip well with the palm facing the target, which leads to complete flexion of the wrist during the release. Let's analyze Van Veen throwing action. His action is not particularly fluid. The three phases of set, pullback, and release are quite well-defined. Gian sets the dart to about 112 degrees, then performs pullback to about 75 degrees, and finally release the dart with the arm fully extended. Let's take a look at one particular aspect of Gian's technique. When he sets up the dart, he rotates it by pushing it with his fingers to position it with the tip pointing upwards. During the pullback, the dart rotates again in the other direction. The rotation of the dart during the preparation phase of the throw is a movement performed by many players and I always find it fascinating to watch. Speed is not an element that affects the level of a darts player. However, I usually like to include it in the analysis because it is an element that adds awesomeness in a match. Van Veen takes about five seconds to release the darts, a fairly average time, but closer to fast than slow. Finally, let's take a look at how Van Veen is playing. Here we have the 2025 statistical ranking, calculated purely on the basis of player stats. If we scroll down, we can see that Van Veen is fifth in the ranking, he is playing at a very high level in 2025. If we open the details, we can see that he has values above 90 everywhere, except for the 180s, where he still has 88. These values indicate how many players with a tour card Van Veen has outperformed. 
For example, with a checkout ratio of 98, he has outperformed 98% of players. If we look at the ranking by year graphic, we can see that he did not do badly in his first two years, finishing 20 and 22, but this year he has really exploded. One last thing. If we compare him to himself from the previous year, we can see that he has improved in virtually every stat. Gian is surely on track to win a major. The site I use to view the stats is called Dartslytics. It is a site I created myself and gives a different view of players' performance. If you want to take a look, I will leave the link in the description. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe to support the channel. Write in the comments who you would like to be analyzed next.